Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Rosh Nidha. Let's look at today's top news. The National Academy of Medical Sciences proudly observed its 64th annual day yesterday on 21st of April. This significant event was graced by the presence of the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Mr. Vinay Kumar Saxena as the chief guest. Dr. Vinod Paul and Dr. Rajiv Bhel were the esteemed guests of honor, each renowned for their contributions to the medical field. Dr. Shiv Kumar Sarin, eminent hepatologist, director ILBS and president National Academy of Medical Sciences senior professor spoke to Medical Dialogues team highlighting the various achievements of NAMS in the last 64 years. Here is what he said. So, uh, Dr. Sarin, welcome to Medical Dialogues show and it's really a pleasure to be interviewing you here today. So, congratulations on the 64th foundation of uh, Foundation Day of NAMS. So, if you could just please share your views on the journey of NAMS and also the contribution of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and NAMS towards the Medical Fraternity of India. Well, yeah, it's our 64th birthday. The NAMS was registered on 21st April yes. 1961 and therefore it's a very important day for us. And the Academy was then uh, inaugurated by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and the first convocation in 1963 was with Dr. Radha Krishnan. So imagine the importance doctors had and the academy had and over the years this has always maintained we have close to 1000 fellows now about 3000 odd members and uh, more than 10,000 uh, MNAMS and many many new categories of fellows like associate fellow, associate member, international fellow so the academy is rich both by numbers, but much more by the type of people, the doctors, their expertise, their knowledge, their skills. The academy is, I think, the richest of the rich academies in the world. As far as the role of NAMS with the Government of India, uh, we are, in a way, a think tank for the Government of India. And uh, the medical expertise from the doctors is provided to the Director General Health Services, Ministry of Health. We had set up 22 task forces in last two years. Important task forces could be on tuberculosis or oral cancer or cervical cancer, uh, lifestyle diseases, mental stress, high altitude, uh, organ transplantation and donation. So these task forces provide what is the current status, what is the knowledge or uh, gap in the government's policies and what are the implementable points. So I think on these three, these task forces of which the seven task forces uh, have almost been published, I think the uh, NAMS has served the country through the government and through the public uh, medical fraternity, the challenging, burning issues facing the country. Yes. Very true, very well said, sir. So, thank you so much for joining us today at Medical Dialogues. And we've actually underwent, we've understood the development of the NAMS Academy as well as the Foundation Day importance. So, I thank you. I also tell you, uh, since you have asked me uh, an afterthought, the Academy has stimulated doctors like you. Even if you are in the business of anchoring or business of developing uh, content, the NAMS has now started medical quiz. Wow. So residents, undergraduates across country can participate and also show their prowess, their knowledge. It doesn't matter where you have studied. It matters what you carry. So the National Medical Quiz for students will be there. Several other new initiatives the Academy has taken. One is Navigate Medico CME. Navigate Medico CME, and I want this to be popularized through your medical dialogue, is to is a national virtual med, postgraduate medical CME. So you navigate the postgraduate to choose to find the optimal knowledge through the best experts. So, Navigate CME, we have done 41 sessions. Wow. We also have a Navigate 
AIMS and NAMS uh, navigate CME program. All 16 uh, institutions AIMS are joining in that. We also have Women in Medicine, a new initiative. <laughs> women in Medicine, the best known women doctors in the country. We would like them to be recognized, to celebrate that. The NAMS has started state cells. Every medical college to have a cell, which is a NAMS cell, which will be our focal point okay. for three, four things. One, the government of India's or NAMS policies to be told, mm -hmm. then to be implemented and to develop some research data. So NAMS has tried over the last two years, almost 20 new initiatives. We have launched them. And we are very happy the task forces are getting momentum. They get 10, 15 members, including members from the government of India, DGHS, from the NGOs and others. Haven't you read any of these? If not, five of them are getting launched today. Do read it and make sure your channel carries the task forces to the people for them to learn, medical people to comment, criticize and tell us, no, no, this is not good. <laughs> Do it this way. Wait. We are there for dialogue with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today at Medical Dialogues. Okay, bye. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.